This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today we're talking to Mark Buckby from Hyden Analytical and he's going to tell us about their new QGA system. Okay, thank you. Good morning, uh, Cameron. Um, today here at uh, Pitcon, we're really pleased to, for the first time at Pitcon, to showcase our most recent addition to our family of gas analysis products and that's the Hyden QGA, uh, our quantitative gas analysis system designed for real-time gas analysis studies. This particular system uses a two meter heated flexible capillary to draw gases from the experiment. Those gases flow down a heated capillary liner and are injected directly into our quadrupole mass spectrometer which is really neatly packaged into this compact atmospheric pressure gas sampling system. If we take a look at the software that's on display here, um, uh, uniquely this system combines two software suites. We have our traditional MassSaft Pro uh, software that controls the instrument and provides the user with uh, full control of all of the instrument operating parameters and we can see here on the screen at the moment we're doing a, a profile spectrum of the air gases that we're sampling through the uh, heated capillary. Uh, we can see here mass 28 nitrogen and mass 32 oxygen and some of the other lower level peaks in the spectrum. If I just take a moment to stop this scan, um, one of the most uh, common modes of operation for the instrument is to look at discrete gases that the user has decided is uh, required for his specific application and here I've um, set up a little experiment that's just going to look at um, uh, oxygen and CO2 and we're going to run this experiment uh, directly here and uh, you'll be able to see the uh, unique uh, high-speed response of, um, of the gas analysis system. Just set to this in the screen for us. I'm just going to breathe into the capillary here and what you need to be looking for on the screen here is both the rise time and the fall time as I uh, exhale um, CO2 and you see the depletion of the oxygen. And you can see there that uh, the response is extremely fast. In, in fact, for this particular unit, we have a response time of somewhere around 300 milliseconds. So that's good for picking up very, very instantaneous sort of chemical reactions? That's right, yeah, for, for transient uh, reaction products that are there for a very short amount of time, this means we're not going to miss them. We're going to see them nice and quickly, and we see them over a very wide dynamic um, concentration range as well. One of the biggest issues for users of, um, of uh, atmospheric pressure sampling systems is the ability to monitor low levels of uh, water vapour and to be able to see the instrument recover nice and quickly when it's ex exposed to low levels of water. And here I'm going to open up a, a file that I configured earlier just so that we can look at uh, water vapour. Just to give you an idea of the sensitivity of the instrument, um, actually my hands are, are, are pretty dry this morning, but if I just offer the uh, palm of my hand up to the uh, capillary, you can see the, the rise and fall um, in response to water vapour there. I'll just do that again for you. And you can see there the, um, the sensitivity of the instrument. And uh, the nice thing about this is the ability of the instrument to recover really quickly when it's been exposed to a condensable like water. It's a really nice uh, feature. The other unique thing about the QGA and um, our complete range of atmospheric pressure gas sampling systems is the, um, the inclusion with the instrument of the ability to do uh, threshold ionization studies. For many applications, uh, our customers are working with gases that will have um, inevitably that can make the interpretation of the data and the deconvolution of the data a little tricky in real time. This instrument here uh, makes use of a feature called appearance potential mass spectrometry which allows us to separate out overlapping uh, gas spectra by virtue of the specific gases first ionization threshold and that's particularly important in something like uh, studies of ammonia where one may have um, a background of moisture which will interfere at the primary peak for ammonia. 
we can essentially differentiate the ammonia from the water background by switching the electron energy down for our uh, ionizer, turning the electron energy down to below the threshold for water while still having um, high enough uh, electron energy to ionize the ammonia and we can differentiate one from the other on the basis of the first ionization threshold difference between ammonia and water. And we have some nice information on that on our website at hydenanalytical.com. Now for folks who are looking to do truly quantitative gas analysis, along with the uh, MathSoft 7 professional um, um, instrument control software, we also include with this package our uh, QGA uh, software, our quantitative gas analysis software, and this features a 16-peak um, um, uh, capability. It can look at 16 discrete gases, each of those gases having up to 10 individual fragmentation peaks and the instrument will go away and do its research on each of those fragments and deconvolute the spectrum for you and um, indicate the absolute amount of gas in your uh, uh, gas stream. And we can do that for single gases, multiple gases, we can remove the background and we can calibrate against a known gas mixture. And here if I just go back from this spectral overlap uh, representation here, you can see the first page of eight gases that we can um, configure from our um, integral library and we can add as I say up to eight uh, up to 16 gases each with up to 10 uh, mass spectral fragments and that's called our QGA quantitative gas analysis software suite. Well, and Mark what sort of options do you have as far as inlet options? Well um, one of the most common applications for this particular instrument is to interface it with thermal gravimetric analyzers. So we're pr very proud to work with some of the leading manufacturers of TGAs out in the field today and we've designed and developed some dedicated interfaces which will attach this capillary with great integrity to um, TGAs from companies such as Perkin Elmer, uh, TA Instruments, Netch, Ceteram and many of the other world's uh, leading suppliers of TGAs. We also, for folks that are looking to do multi-stream gas analysis, have a range of multi-stream inlets from eight streams all the way up to 80 streams. We can bring in many uh, process gas lines, um, um, gas sampling lines, along with calibration gases, purge gases and zero gases, so we can do accurate quantitative gas analysis. And one product that we're particularly uh, proud of is our Space EMS. Folks are looking to do research in porous materials and catalysts and looking to uh, measure the reaction kinetics across a wide surface area through the depth of the product. We integrate this with a 16-way capillary inlet that's mounted onto a Z-drive so we can move the sampling points into and out of a porous material whilst at the same time from adjacent cells collecting temperature data and therefore able to um, produce for the user a spatial um, spatially resolved measurements along with uh, the temperature profiles throughout the the monolith and that's a really important area for folks who are doing zeolite and catalyst research. And what about do people use your system for monitoring commercial or industrial processes? It's used in both industrial, in the automotive industry, in the fermentation business for uh, biogas studies and off-gas studies in general and it's also of course used in the research uh, arena at both uh, governmental and uh, academic sites of uh, excellence. All right Mark, thanks very much for telling us about the new QGA system and obviously if they want to find out more information they can go to your website. That's Indeed they can Cameron, yes, um, if you log on to www.hydenanalytical.com and in particular if you register for a username and password you'll have access to a plethora of uh, technical information and academic references. Fantastic Mark, thanks very much for telling us okay. about the QGA. Okay, thanks Cameron, thank you.